so i'm showing you guys i'm in my garage what the foundation looks like in natural lighting because it was a struggle like a real struggle and i knew it looked it got better but it was like uh studio lighting what i'm saying under the lights it looked okay um but i wanted to see what it looked like in natural lighting because your girl was looking like a whole oompa loompa and i can't be out here in these streets looking like that i'm going to run errands i'm gonna do a check-in it's 131 right now um and i'm going to do a check-in probably around four and do another one maybe at like eight but i don't really know because my day takes a life of its own but that's my plan if not i'll check in at some point to give you my full review to see how it weared um but for the most part it was really difficult to blend it dries really fast. I thought like the Fenty um, foundation, the Pro Map one dried fast. This dries fast. And I did realize that I had my ceiling fan on when I was filming. So that might have something to do with it. So I might do another review. I might reach out to Influencer and let them know like that wasn't a good shade for me. Or I might just do another uh, wear test on like my IG. Um, and just to see if it dries down that fast without a fan on. But it was, if you could see in the video, I was struggling to really um, blend it out. But this is how it was looking in natural lighting. Um, so I'm gonna go run some errands and then I'll check back in with you guys. Real quick, another thing that I noticed, I was just looking back at this footage just to make sure there was no hiccups or anything like that. Uh, so when I edit it, everything will go smoothly. And I noticed when I did this, that you could still see this makeup. Let me tell you something. I washed my hands with soap and I washed my hands for 20 to 30 seconds because my watch tells me when I'm done. Look, look how much came off. So I can only imagine how this is going to be removing this foundation so we'll see how it is with my check-in i might try to remove like one side with like the makeup remover just to see if it's a struggle because i feel like you're going to be like rubbing scrubbing this off and dior like i was so excited because it's dior like it's dior and i got it from influencer and it was free so they just sent it to me so i could review it so that's another plus but I was super bummed because the shade is not my shade. And then it was a struggle applying it. And then like this stuff is full coverage. You know, I had to build it up because since I couldn't blend it right, like it didn't cover any of my acne, but it's full coverage and I'll use soap. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get this off my hands. I think I'm gonna have to put like olive oil on the back of my hand and break it down first then wash it off but like my hands are dry because i wash my hands like with good soap i'm in a medical field so i use like medical grade soap and it didn't come off so keep that in mind as well if you still want to pick it up this is the matte formula i know i think they have like a dewy formula it also has spf in it so i feel super good about going out into the sun and not like worrying about all of that but this is how it's looking in the sunlight and i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie this is really pretty it's really pretty or is it just me feeling myself and then that highlighter like i like it okay but enough rambling i'll check back in with you guys okay so it is 409 and i meant to check in when um I was actually like out, but I was eating and my, my kids, the whole nine. So I'm in the car. I know the lighting's not the best. Let me cut my light on, if that helps. But this is what the makeup is looking like. And I'm starting to get a little oily, barely. Like my forehead, around my nose is a little oily. Um, but for the most part, 
it still looks good i feel like the color of it has like toned down i don't know if it's just me or what but i feel like what is what is going on with this what what, what is going on down here um i feel like the color is more of my skin tone i don't know if it's just me or what but this is a check-in it's been roughly four hours i put this on around 12 yeah i put this on exactly around 12 ish 1209 and then you know, i did the check-in with the natural lighting around one so this is me going out i went to eat and everything and i'm checking in just to show you guys what it's looking like and it's holding up pretty good for the fiasco that i had um so i think honestly oh excuse me if you get this in your shade it's going to work well and if you wear this in the summertime i think this is a more summer friendly foundation because it's matte and you know in the summertime your oils and all of that and so this will be a really good uh foundation for the summertime and that shade might might work for me in the summertime because you know it's winter now and i'm a lot lighter than i am in the summertime so um i just think that it might be it might work better for me in the summer for the formula and the shade and i know this is a new and improved like i think there's already been a forever foundation from dior so i don't know if people complained about that formula or if it wasn't a good formula or they just felt the need to re uh, invent it and this is the new formula but if this is the new formula i would really like to know how the old formula performs so if you guys have used the older dior foundation comment down below and let me know if you liked it and if it was hard to deal with and hard to work with as well um because if this is the new and improved honey child i know we were we were messed up beforehand um because this was a struggle but with all that being said this is the four hour check-in and i'm still looking okay like this is okay i'm not you know it hadn't moved much it hadn't moved at all actually honestly it looks more of my skin tone now like dead on to my skin tone not like it was when i first put it on so i'll check back in with you guys around eight because that's probably when i'm going to take my makeup off i'll be done with the day by eight o'clock so i'll check in with you guys at eight and then i'll wipe off half so you can see how easy it is to remove because i finally got that off my hand but i literally had to put hand sanitizer on it rub it in work it in real good and then wipe it off and some still was there and i had to like scrub it off so this formula is like when it when it sets it's set it's locked in it's i which is good because it's transfer proof so i feel that that's the reason why it's so thick and it dries down and it adheres to the skin because it's transfer proof i don't want to try that whole test like taking my shirt off or something or wiping something on me because i just don't want to do that my skin probably is screaming underneath um but it is transfer proof so i'll check back in we'll go over everything the whole rundown price points all of that stuff and you guys will determine whether or not this is something that you want to purchase okay so i'll see you guys later i know i said i was gonna wait until eight but a lot is going on and i'm getting really tired and i do not feel like waiting until eight it is close to six i've had this on for six hours roughly almost six hours if not six hours um and this is what i'm looking like i have one studio light softbox light and i don't have my softbox cover over it um it's without the cover so like this is really like a harsh light but i wanted you guys to really see what this foundation looks like and i gotta make this really quick because i film on my phone um and i have like 18 percent battery so i don't want to speed through this but i am going to move pretty fast this is what i'm looking like 
I'm shiny, I'm oily, but I like dewiness. I don't like matte, matte foundations. So this right here is like the look that I'm achieving. And I will say I set it with this very dewy setting spray from Wet n Wild in the new um, Blooming Collection. That video is up on my channel right now. You can watch the whole review. This is a dewy setting spray, so I have to use it as a primer. I primed with this today, and I used a little bit as a setting spray because I just didn't want it to be too matte. Because I could tell how when I was blending it, it wasn't moving, so I needed something to make it um, more uh, like glowy. So with everything, I, I like this. The color is off. So I was thinking about purchasing another one that's my shade and using that and seeing if it was any better. But I'm thinking about probably not. I got this from Influencer and you know it is free. So I just, they send me things and I review it. And um, this foundation is $52. I can purchase it. It's not that I don't want to purchase it because it's too expensive. I true, I truly like drugstore foundations um, because one, they're affordable, and if you're not the right shade, you can mix and match, and you're not breaking the bank. Fifty-two dollars is on the higher end for a foundation, but it is Dior, so I expected it to be expensive. Um, the most I've ever paid for a foundation, I think was $45, which is the soft matte, 42, 45, something like that, the soft matte from NARS. All my NARS are at 42 to $45, um, but I've had those for a while. I don't use them every day. My expensive foundations, I don't use all the time. I use when I know I'm taking pictures, if I know I'm going somewhere and I wanna look really good on an everyday basis, I don't use expensive high-end foundations. I use my everyday. So what I'm thinking about doing is keeping this as my summer shade. I made it work, but that was a lot of work and I don't wanna have to do that every time I wanna wear this foundation. This is full coverage. So I don't want to have to be, you know, full glam every day if I just wanna to go to work. The one thing that I did like about this that I was hoping would work out for me once I realized it wasn't my shade was that it's transfer proof. So I wear a mask all day and I actually wanted to try with the mask. I did wear a mask today, not for very long, but I did. But it was a mask that I just keep in my car so it already had makeup on it. So I couldn't tell if it transferred or not. I mean, I could get a paper towel and just dab it and then see, but I can basically tell I'm oily so that I know if I just go down my T-zone with my finger, like, I, you, you can see it. It's there. So that is the review. I hope I'm not rushing through this. But if you can see in its entirety, it was a lot of work only because it was not my shade. So I had to do a lot of correcting with concealers and everything and powders and all of that. Um, but for the most part, you get this flawless, very skin-like texture and complexion. And this is really, a, I can tell this is a really good foundation. It's just super matte. So you got to work with it really, really fast. And the, the shades are tricky. So if you're the type that has to do a shade pick through the website, like I went on the Dior website and I think my color that would match me better is probably five warm or five neutral. I probably would have to mix those two, but I have six warm and it's way too dark. And if I had to pick that from the website, the model that they use it on looked like she could have been my tone, but she had a more, it was just an off, look so you really can't go by the website if you're not really good and this is something new for you and you're not really really good with picking shades online don't do it if you go on sephora i think you can match yourself through all of that uh iq color iq thing that they have on sephora i don't really shop at sephora um i really do more also or, or whatever but i know foundation i'm gonna have a link here it's a website where you can go in put a lot of your foundations in there and then you can look at any brand any type of foundation and it'll tell you what your match is use that to find your match because trying to go through that website is going to be a fail and this is not a five dollar six dollar ten dollar 
foundation. This is a $52 foundation. If you add your taxes and your shipping or however you get it, you're going to be breaking the bank. But I hope you all enjoyed this video, mini vlog, check-in. This is a new style video for me. If you like these type of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It will help me and let me know that the things that I'm doing and the, the new stuff that I got going on for the channel is something that you all like. And if you guys are new, welcome. I hope you decide to subscribe so you can become part of the family. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back, checking out this whole uh, foundation follow-up routine it was a lot. It was a review, a tutorial, a blog, a check-in. It was a mixture of everything going on in this video. But I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.